uh, dear participants and respected uh, Dr. V. R. Tiwari sir, who is supposed to be one of my mentor and guide, uh, guide in LIS Arena of India. And also, uh, Tiwari sir has also vast experience in the field of LIS service and education too. And without introducing him in this platform, I must say that he is a person who has versatile experience right from the traditional to modern technology of library and information science as well as its service. And now Sir is heading the one of the premier library in India, that is ISAR Kolkata. And today he will enlighten us with his ever experienced topic, that is plagiarism is a big issue and current challenges of artificial intelligence tools. As we know that plagiarism and similarity is nowadays a kind of infectious disease in the academic society as I thought and as I believe. And I'm sure that SAD will enlighten us in different ways so that we can have some ways how we will avoid and how we will, I mean, fight with this infectious disease to save, to ensure our academic journey in future. Because those who, who amongst us living in West Bengal, we know that the transport department of West Bengal have that tagline, save drive, save life. And here our tagline is save career, save your future. So to do it, this plagiarism is a big issue and current challenges of AI tools is, I think, appropriate topic to start the six days journey. I mean, six sessions journey right from today. And I'm very happy that theory sir, by his excellency and kind of relation with us in Vishwaruti in general and to me in particular, very, very generous to have a call. And he immediately agreed and accept my call to deliver his lecture today in spite of his busy schedule by his chair and by his position throughout in India. So sir, on behalf of Vishwaruti in general and on behalf of Vishwaruti Library Network, let me welcome you in this platform at the outset. And we are really, really and really waiting for your thought-provoking lecture to enlighten our academia. And for your information, here the participants, not only from Vishwaruti, but also from Indian different institutes and maybe abroad, because uh, to my network, I have many WhatsApp group members. And through all the group members, I have circulated the notice. And I do believe that many members from rest of the West Bengal have joined over here for your enlightening lecture. And also, I'd like to take your permission that this video lecture we intend to upload in our YouTube channel so that it's not possible to many of our colleagues in Vishwaruti and outside Vishwaruti to listen real time nature. So, to cater them your valuable lecture, we wanted to upload this lecture soon after your lecture is over in our YouTube channel to cater your expertise to the rest of the global level academic arena to ensure how to defend with plagiarism to ensure their assigning academic journey. So with these few yeah. words, let me just now hand over the sessions to you, sir, for delivering your thought-provoking lecture. Theory, sir, please. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sa, for uh, my introduction. I am not so that good, but then anyway, I'm trying my level best to be with you people. Uh, first of all, that I would like to say plagiarism is a big issue for all of us as it has been, say, generated or evaporated just now, say, for a few years back that we have been so conscious about the plagiarism issues for all. Can you, share, can you see my screen shared? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, that's yes, great. Your screen is visible to us. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So I just wanted to see, first of all, we have to be very clear about when we talk about plagiarism, what exactly is the plagiarism is all about, then we will be able to understand what are the issues and what are the things which we will have to take care of. Plagiarism is a serious academic offense that involves a present, presenting someone else's work, ideas, account without proper attribution. What does it mean exactly? When you are using a particular, say, uh, author's reference or work in your work, or you are trying to refer that and you're not giving the proper credit to that particular author, it is called plagiarism. 
we all know that in simple language that it is cutting and pasting from somewhere or from someone's work to your own work and claiming it that it is your own work only. Tackling plagiarism requires understanding its consequences and taking proactive steps to avoid it. We all know that plagiarism is a kind of a thing. If you don't be so cautious at this stage, it will be very difficult to tackle at certain point of state when it will be submitted. And then whole thing will be in the problem for you people, right? Now, when we talk about understanding plagiarism, what exactly? You keep on looking for it. How does it constitute plagiarism? You have to familiarize with you people that what it entails in for academic institutions, uh, the credit goes out, proportional professional settings. It can include copying, pasting, texting without citation or paraphrasing without giving credit. Paraphrasing is a kind of a tool which we you people use for making our things, uh, say our writings in a proper shape, but that is also kind of, of a kind of a plagiarism if it is not being accredited, accredited properly. Using someone else's idea without acknowledgement or self plagiarism submitting to your previous work without citations. See, uh, we people are, say, when we talk about writing, it's a, not a kind of once a writing, we have been a prolif prolific writing, right? So we might have been using our own ideas to be, say, presented in the same mode, and that meant that should be also be pr properly quoted for. Cite your sources. Plagiarism is what that you have to re say, recall it and re recite it properly from where exactly you might have quoted a particular thing. Cite your resources whenever you use someone else's works, ideas, works. Make sure to cite it, the original source properly, mm -hmm. so that you can avoid the plagiarism percentage or whenever you check to it. There are certain citation styles you might be aware of. I will uh, disclose you in detail in later on my later slides. There are some future slides I'm citing around APA, MLA, Chicago style, and text in citations, uh, including text citations, complete reference, a list of the bibliography. When conducting a research, what does it mean? That taking detailed notes of record of all information that you are that about your resources. When you are collecting information for making your things to work or uh, making a study of a particular topic, you study so many materials, but then we people forgot to take the proper reference of that. So that we are not able to at that particular time, we are not able to uh, provide the information from where we have taken that this particular information. These notes, you may make it sure that whenever you start a process of making collecting materials or citing, cite, uh, say, collecting information from different sources on your particular topic which you are about to write, you have to be very sure that you keep a proper reference of those so that you will be in a position to, at the certain point of that, that you will be in, in a proper position to cite those things. See, like a paraphrasing is a kind of a thing presenting someone else's ideas in your words. There are, so there are certain things which you always consider that paraphrasing, I can consider those, those information which are from taken from others, but in using in our own words. The paraphrasing is a kind of thing that you have to be very careful about it, that you should not use the same kind of a notations that a person might have used. You can take the essence of that and you can write in your own language. If you are able to that, then certainly you will be avoiding the plagiarism. There are certain plagiarism tools which are available. You might be aware of all those. See, I shall be taking some kind of, say, introduction on that. Plagiarism detection tools, various tool, online tools are available. There are certain tools which are freely available in the market, means uh, they are not uh, subscription based. There are certain tools which are there, which you have to pay a proper subscription, then only you can use those tools. There are certain tools like Turnitin, Grammarly, Copy Scan, and can help identify. These are the resources you have to buy. Grammarly is a kind of a tool which is available Otherwise, also in a normal edition, then it will not be helping in a proper shape. So you have to subscribe to it. And Turnitin is, of course, on the top of it. It does take cover. 
can help identify resources on plagiarism in your work. These tools can compare your writing against a vast database of resources by highlighting similarity use of them. And the, what does it give exactly the plagiarism tool you might have used? It gives the exact, say, highlighted portion which has been taken from X or Y resources, right? So use them as a precautionary measure to keep on using this particular. If at all you are stuck up with somewhere, definitely your instructors or guide or your mentors, they are the, in a better position to tell you whether these kind of things can be quoted or not. You see, there are certain, certain things which you cannot avoid. There are certain scientific terms or technical terms or chemistry, chemistry terms which cannot be avoided from taking from one. If these are the, taken as a plagiarism from somewhere or X, Y, the, these can be ignored. So the best thing is that, that you first of all check your document and then after go through your own guide that whether these portions are to be say shown as a plagiarism whether it is permissible or not so there is there is a lot of gray area which you can speak with your guide and that is he is or she is a, in a better position to guide you out see uh, plagiarism is a kind of an ethical things also when we talk about copy and paste methods that we people use in uh, producing some document, it is not exactly the good one. See, cultivate academic integrity. It always asks you that you be, have to be very sure and very pure in your producing your ideas. Ultimately, the best way to tackle it, for example, to prioritize academic integrity and respect the value of the work others, if you are quoting to. See, what does it mean, integrity? Integrity does not mean that, that you have to be all the pure what you have been writing, if there are certain other people saying on a particular topic, you very well can quote on that. And definitely it is a pride that you can, you should accept that, that yes, these three things have been quoted from X or Y resources and give the proper credit. So that gives the ethical standards. Remember, tackling pregnancy is not only about and avoiding penalties, but also fostering your own growth, learning, capable credibility as a researcher or student or a professional. Yes, this is a very, say, say integral part of the our academic activity that whenever we uh, talk about plagiarism, it is not that we are making some percentage to be dropped to a certain level, which is permissible, but it is also kind of a thing which gives you a kind of impetus to produce the real, real work that you can have or you can share uh, your learning or your capabilities in the research community. So you have to be very say plain about it, how exactly the best way you can produce on that. Say, turn it. Now when we talk about churn it, uh, say, like I think I'm checking tools, there are so many tools which are available. But basic thing one has to understand that what is plagiarism this is all about. Plagiarism is a kind of a tool that whatever you write or whatever you write or trying to publish as a material, that has to be checked from a particular database which is available all throughout the world. Or it has been a published material from X, Y, Z and so many resources outside. So you may not be sure that this particular, say, wordings or which kind of paragraph has been taken from so and so forth. So basic thing is that the plagiarism checks from the databases that it has. Database means what? The all kind of material, published material, which is across the world is available, <coughs> is available on the web or in the, say, subscribe material or in open source, the material is already available. So it checks your own, say, writing to that particular database to how much percentage it has been taken from there, right? So database, which is their basic database, how large it is, that makes the real things to happen. To turn it in when we talk about why it has been honored as a very, uh, say, based one or very weightage kind of a plagiarism tool, it has a large, huge database through which it take, takes care of it. So plagiarism is a kind of a tool, it takes submit papers, vast databases of academic content, websites, other student papers to identify similarities, it generates similarity reports. So as big as your database is there for any kind of a plagiarism tool, your report will be as 
refined as possible. So Grammarly is also a kind of a tool which gives you Grammarly writing. Basically, Grammarly tool is all about your checking your, uh, say, English content in a proper grammatical way, how it has to be presented. It gives you suggestions how best you can write a particular word, a particular sentence in a proper shape. It checks the spelling at certain, certain point of time, and it gives you how to frame a sentence, basically. But yes, Grammarly, in a, if you go for a premium edition, it gives you some kind of uh, assistance for your making plagiarism checks also. But still, I will feel uh, that uh, this is not a final tool for getting a kind of a plagiarism check. The turn it is the best prevent available right now in the arena. There are certain other tools also, Copyscape. It is basically web-based web -based plagiarism tool, primarily in text check the web content, which is available on the web. You have to enter the URL, URL and upload a text in the file check and duplicates the content wherever it on the internet. Copyscape is commonly used for web owners, website owners. When you use using for any kind of web content you are creating, that time this particular software is far, far better for Copyscape. You go for plug scan is a comprehensive plugin edition tools. It takes the checks documents, online resources, academic journals in own database. When we talk about its own database, this is what is the basic criteria. How big is their database and how big that can be? If at all there are certain things which are not covered by this database, certainly the plagiarism tools cannot be accepted by, or rather it will not be affecting on your, say, academic activity. Now, when we go, say there are certain others, you can go for the doubly checker, there's a free online tool. I was telling you there are certain tools which are subscribed and there are certain tools which are freely available. Dupli Checker is also one of them that you can go for your text when on web pages on online resources, whatever that Dupli Checker is a free tool that you can use or it is an open source tool you can tool. So, but then these, these things are uh, say limited wide way of finding plagiarism or say very initial stages you can check you can use these tools but not beyond or finally you have to go for a kind, kind of commercial tool like turn it in or somewhere uh, the other one is qtext qtext is an online tool which is available online resource see open source software it is there you can check your and it also the, the, this, it's a free version you can use anywhere on anywhere, but then this is the kind of a primary tool for using any kind of plagiarism tool. You should not uh, take it as the final one. Basically, for uh, say, why I insist on turn it in all, there is a reason behind it. For all kind of a publishers which are publishing your articles, this is the final one that you need to have to be checked from Turnitin because there are other, other version of this uh, Turnitin's I authenticate, which all the publishers use across the globe. Now, when we come to the scientific writing and plagiarism, then when we talk about scientific writing, say scientific publications are there, scientific articles you are publishing, there are certain things which are a little bit special. I shall try to identify those also. Is a serious ethic, ethical operation undermines integrity of research papers by in scientific writing involves presenting someone else's works, ideas, and it can occur in various forms, copying and pasting and paraphrasing table data and without permission of it. So it's involvement. You have to check it. Oh, can, you, can you hear me? There. Am I, am I audible? Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Audible. Okay, yes. Fine. Please, sir, continue. Okay, fine, fine. So, the, another another thing, why why I talk about scientific writing? You see, there are scientific writings. When I talk about that, there are certain places like mathematics or a kind of a solution that you are putting it in your research work as a particular thing. You might be having a five percent plagiarism check, but then. If that is the crux of your thesis or your crux or if your article work, the whole whole purpose may get defeated. 
if it is copied from somewhere else here else why i am telling you because you see scientific writing is so precise that even a 5% or 10% can be very very fatal for your work so you have to be very careful about it whenever you are quoting a particular formula or something that if it is to be cited it has to be cited in a proper way otherwise your whole scientific work may get defeated citing and references when i was talking about it is very crucial to know how which style you are taking which site references tools you are using there are certain tools which are available on the mark say on your public freely it includes both direct quotes and paraphrasing information both way it checks to and follow the specific session citation styles like guidelines like recommended by your disciple discipline as journal submitting you are into there are certain journals which already precisely ask that which particular style you have to form your is a document and put it like that for instance apa style mla chicago style and etc so there are certain styles which are you when you are writing a particular article to submit submitted submitted in a particular journal you have to check with the journal website which particular web, say format they need into so there are certain citation site provides in such citations in a proper shape compile comprehensive comprehensive reference reference list and bibliography at the end of your paper so that there should be proper citation of the things that you have cited for in your paper <clears> our <throat> originality and attribution clearly distinguish with your own ideas inter analysis interpretations from your work from others while using others information data from external sources whenever you are you have to be very cautious or cautious about it when you are in using some information from external sources you have to properly quote it give credit to the original authors who has really generated that particular uh, say formula or a kind of research work which you are trying to dwell upon clearly attribute to any concept theories methods or finding that are not your own of certainly when we are writing some scientific papers there are certain things which on which you are trying to interpret your own say experiments so you have to be very sure that which particular idea is the basic idea originated by someone else you have to quote it properly acknowledge the contribution of others in the proper intellectual property in that paraphrasing and summarizing it's it's also a very big tool when we are talking about some introduction portion what when you are talking about the say what content that you are trying to interpret or not there are certain things that you want to say about it that what exactly this term means about a lot so when you are trying to summarize your topic topic so you have to when paraphrasing someone else work if you are taking someone else work ensure that you accurately represent your ideas while expressing in your own own words avoid simply rearranging or replacing few words retaining the structure of the main original text that means that you have to be very clear about it what does it want to say the original author if you want to write in your own way right so attribute to the resource properly you know, attribute to the resource text in citations in the provide provide properly refer, proper reference use of figures see scientific writing as a kind of a writing with you use so many figures so many diagrams you have to present it so you have to be very sure figures tables and data so there are certain figures on which you are trying to predict or you are trying to work on upon it then these if these figures are also taken from somewhere else you have to say quote it you have to cite it properly there are certain tables of data say for instance when we are say working in social sciences so there are so many population data which we quote from someone x resources then we have to quote it properly and then on the further and further forth we can produce our, our own tables saying about or stating about own things some data which you are quoting from someone say for instance you are taking pollution data so pollution data which from which source you are putting it for so for last years and then you are predicting or trying to say work upon on those data you have to properly 
provides provide the resources it's not like that that these are available and everybody knows it everybody knows about it that's fine but then you have to quote it in your own document that these data has been extracted from such and such so citation makes very thing that are there are certain permissions also needed see uh, there are certain data in which you need from x x or y agencies to get a permission that we want to use your data for such and such work so that permission also that should be some reference should be to be given that this is not say unofficially no data should be produced in your own paper clearly indicate the resources of data and modification one should be very much aware of that is not only the text which can be plagiarized the figures tables and data also can be plagiarized and can be used can be used in plagiarism checks so you, you have to be very sure about it clearly indicate the sources of and if any modifications are made if you are adopting reproducing previously previous tables make sure that follow copyright guidelines and all if you are reproducing you have to be very sure about it that whether these copyright guidelines are affecting them or not or if the proper citations are needed there is certain other things also if you are a prolific writer you are writing on a particular topic since long and there are certain more papers which have already been published then this particular topic comes to your picture because when you are writing on a particular uh, say topic in your way then uh, what happens that your style of writing becomes almost similar to or some work which you have already done you are trying to Re, say improve upon it or to make certain uh, say public applications on the, that particular work so what happens then your own work comes into the picture and you quote it just because of that because the work has to be that or of course it is your own work but even then you have to cite it properly that it has been taken from such and such journal or it has been taken from such and such article published from such and such or from such and such PhD thesis which has been taken up, or your own lab work which you might have quoted somewhere else. So earlier published, even maybe yours. So that is also been counted as plagiarism. So you have to quote it properly. That is called self plagiarism. Self plagiarism check. So that you have to quote it properly. That we have been uh, in such and such papers. I have published such and such things. So this is also very much inter say needed for your own research work. consult the guidelines of the journal or conference you are submitting yeah that is there that there are certain journals which allows you self plagiarism there are certain journals which say that no you cannot quote your own things in such a way there are certain limitations on that so you have to be sure about that what publisher wants in that particular journal <clears throat> plagiarism tools like like the internet and grammarly others also check your software scientific right and and potential instances of publications these tools can compare your text from vast databases from that which i discussed it earlier why i am telling it once again there are certain tools which i said also that in mathematics if you go there are thesis are very small or papers are very small maybe five or six pages the whole article is finished so that even if the 10% or 5% plagiarism is there for a basic crux of your thesis that should not be they may not be permitted so that 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 is why i say the plagiarism percentage you should not be so aware of it that even if 10% is allowed we can go way ahead with it no you have to show it to your guide or mentor that what exactly the content which you are going to plagiarize is or it is been showing is in plagiarism if this is from the very vital source of your thesis or your work certainly that will not be allowed to so you have to be sure about that should not go by numerical percentage there are certain places where the percentage is very very vital so that you have to double check it with your guides these tools are just simply helping the tools to you making a in a numerative <coughs> kind of a help that this is possible and that is possible that is permissible and it is not permissible but then later on it is not the case that exactly the tools will be there until certainly the work which you are going to produce or which you are going to publish at certain point of time you have all the liberty 
to remove or improve on your articles or work at this present before it's been sent to publishers or send it for thesis submission, etc. Once it is submitted, and if at all after that something comes up, certainly you will not be in a position to improve at that your material at this that stage. There are certain AI tools also available which helps helps you know your work and work. There are AI things which are there at present. You know, chat GPT, OpenAI, Bard, and so many so so many sources which are talking about so many. Uh, giving so many kind of options to you, but then you have to be careful at present. This, uh, when we are talking about this stage, AI has not been say counted in your plagiarism tool. But we all know that at certain point of time, there are certain tools like Turnitin, etc. They have also given indicators that this person for particular portion has been. So, means whole document they are telling that this percentage is from AI tools. <clears throat> so you have to be sure. See, there was a timeline when the plagiarism checks start. You, you all know that in, during 90s or say 2001 and 2002, there were plagiarism issues were not so hard and fast. So there have been so many infringements which have been done, taken place. But then integrity work over there at that time also. This is the right, right time, is an alarming time when AI tools have been helping this kind of research work, but they are not been shown in the plagiarism tool. But yes, when you finish your work, you go for some academic excellence or you go or you join somewhere as an academic institutions and some work, then that time the AI tools may also be, will be, be counted, who knows? This is the future that we are looking for, right? So you have to be sure that if you are using any AI tools, you have to be sure that you use in your own language. If you are using in their own copy and paste, certainly it is going to be creating an issue at certain point of time and future. Right now, they have not been taken care of it, but then you have to be very sure because Plagiarism has got a side by side AI tools also. AI tools are giving you so kind of so many kind of information directly to your subject, but that does not mean that it is your own work. So you have to be sure about quoting that also. It may not be necessary that you quote that you have quoted from AI. No, it's not needed. But then you should use your own word. It can give you the concept idea or clarifications uh, according to your subject but you should not use copy and paste from there. Otherwise, at certain point of time, at present, they are not being counted for plagiarism, but coming in your seat, might be so, it might so happen. Then you will not be having in, a, in any kind of, a, say, go back and correct it. No, you will not be able to. So, and you will get a bad name. And the institution also will get a bad name. So you have to be very careful about using AI tools also. They do help, but then, you have to be very careful about doing that. Now let's move ahead. <clears throat> when we talk about plagiarism as standards of scientific integrity, it is important to understand, follow ethical guidelines, follow policies of your institution, funding agencies, and the scientific community at large. Why I tell you, scientific says things are that that these are all work which we do today. Every uh, it is getting published everywhere. Now, on base on the base of that, the third certain other things are interpreted at future. So you have to be integrity is very much much needed in scientific publishing. Additionally, seeks guidance guidance from your supervisor and mentors and colleagues ensure that you are adhering the best practices in scientific writing and avoiding plagiarism. Why? Plagiarism tool is always a kind of a tool that you can check the percentage, how much plagiarization you have done. But then, why it has been everywhere, it has been mentioned, you might have heard my, in my talk also, that the supervisor and mentors, these are the ones you have to be every time in touch with. So that whatever you are producing or whatever you are going to produce in future, that should not be only plagiarism tool. This is a numerical tool only. But the integrity part or the best part is that how exactly your, your work will be taken for the future, the viewer mentor can help it out. So that you have to be taken care of it very much. 
understand the citation styles and familiarize with another different types. You might have seen there are so many styles which are there available in at present at this stage. And you might have seen there are so many styles which are there uh, accepted by X, X journal or Y journals or Y publisher or Z publishers. But then these are the styles which are there, AP American Physiological Association, Modern Language Association, Chicago style, IEEE institution styles are there. See, there, there are so many tools which can help you out that if you write your articles, they can be, they can be properly mentioned in that. Now let's see how it goes to get necessary information, collect all relevant information, the paper you want to cite. Now here it says about citation, how exactly it will be cited about it. That typically includes authors of the paper name, general preference, consent for conference proceedings, publication data, date, uh, date, volume, issue, numbers, pages, how exactly it has to be presented. These are all formatting things. So you have to be very specific about that, that when, where exactly the data of volume will be there. Sir, Tiwadi, uh, sir. Uh, yeah. Nimanyar. Sir, can you please go through slide mode, slideshow? Slideshow? And just, just, I mean, F5, if you press F5, then it will go slideshow mode. Yeah, yeah. So is it okay? Not yet, it's just parallel view. Yeah, is it is it not in slideshow now? No, it's actually parallel. Slide numbers and slide, uh, master slide is left hand and then a small slide is there in the right hand side. No, no, now I change it. Just have a look on it. Okay. okay. Is it there now? Not yet, sir, not yet. No, I have changed it. I think it will be reflected in the students. Yeah. Oh, why? No, no, no. Actually, I'm, I'm in an online meeting, so I'll not call it, right? You can speak to... Oh. Okay, so I'm giving a link. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Okay, please. <clears throat> yeah, can you, is it proper now? Uh, no, sir, it is actually what it was. You, you can continue, sir. No issue. Okay. So gather necessary information, collect all relevant information when I was talking about. This is typically includes the authors, status, players, and publication. It is available. Make sure the proper formatting is all about. Now, let us take our, uh, talk about a little bit of it, that what exactly these styles are there. Format, this is nothing but this is a formatting. A particular style asks how the page on year of publication has to be cited. Format and text, in text citations used are acknowledged the source of information. Depending on the citation styles, you might include author's last name, publication year, page, if number, if applicable. You see, for example, I've just quoted few. Author has to be first, then comma, then year of the page, then page, and then page number, and then after. MLA style said author, page, and year, and then there are certain uh, denominations are there. APA style, you hear it goes like that. Book authors, title of the book, publisher, journal article, how it is to be quoted as such. There are certain things which are there, you have to be following it in ditto mode. Otherwise, it will not allow. There are certain, like website authors, how you, uh, this is model language style. The book author, title of the publisher, your journal article, this is, has to be published and the volume number, issue number, date, and that this, this sequence has to be made in a proper shape. This is what is all style about. Website editor, author, compiler. We can we can give information in different, see, same information can be given in different sequences, but these styles, when we talk about MLA style, this has to be in the same sequence. So these sequences are to be made, and you have to be, as a researcher or as a, uh, writer, you have to be very sure about it that you must include all that in the same sequence. Otherwise, this style will be broken. This is Chicago style. 
the uh, title of the book publisher of the year there is a comma has to be put in and these things and that thing so these are the things these are the three styles which are very much available and there's another one is i triple e style and for scientific writings yeah i triple e is a very honored style and it has been work, working in so many Dutch journals so as a scientific author you have to be very careful about all that these are the few examples when you go for that I say when I quoted for that, uh, say from the site, some, some some specific examples are there for Harvard, Vancouver, etc. They are using their own style for publishing their own work. It's important to consult the style of the guide to the guide style guide to ask your instructor or academic institution for the recommended style to follow. Which ever institute you are in, there are certain things which help you on that. And they say that you have to follow this particular style. So you have to be so sure about it, all that. See, it's there are certain styles which are there. Several citations management tools are there, like EndNote, Jotero, Mendeley can assist you in generating this style. When I talked about uh, there, these things are uh, how the styles are being say followed MLA, APLA or, or, or this Chicago styles etc. That time what you can do, this thing is possible that you can help, uh, take help from these kind of tools which are available and note Jotero, Mendeley etc. And note is already available online but there are certain things which you can subscribe uh, say for personally or institutionally same is the case for Jotero and Mendeley these are the tools which will help you to uh, to amend your own whole work in a particular style whichever styles you needing for that but these tools allow you I hope that uh, my talk will might have given you some kind of insights about how to check the plagiarism and how to check uh, plagiarism in a better way or in a fruitful way. So now, this is all from my side. I'll just uh, try to make uh, say, I would like to in invite some questions if you somebody has, you please go ahead. So the online participants, uh, if you have any questions, you can unmute yourselves and then raise your questions that is there to answer. And if you have any question, you can also put through chat box. We will take care. And if you have any questions. Go... Problem, I, I shall, can I switch it on once again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can switch on a one. Because it is not showing me so that I'm just putting it once again. Right, sir. You can leave and then rejoin. Sixty foot. Hello. 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 Yes, yes, please. So can I ask a question? Just just a minute. Hold your patience because speaker is now rejoining. Okay, we are waiting for him to rejoin. Okay. Okay, okay sir. Thank you.
Sir, sir, you have joined, but we are not getting your video. Am I audible to you, sir? Chat box, I keep asking. Chat box, sir. nice presentation uh, i wanted to know that uh, uh, being a library professional yes how can we help uh, uh, academic fr fraternity in this regard in regarding plagiarism issues yes sir yes sir regarding okay. this topic okay uh, see as a librarian side if you tell plagiarism issues are there we have to make the people community aware of it that the plagiarism issues are very concerned and where exactly the students are trying to fail. Whenever they come to you for plagiarism checks, you have to make all the students aware of it that this is the right time that you can check your plagiarism in a right mode. Otherwise, what will happen once you submit your document and it goes to the public and then it, if it is diagnosed as a say or checked as a plagiarism it will not be possible for them to rectify it so this kind of awareness has to be made from all the time whenever a student approaches you for a kind of a plagiarism check and another thing that whatever the latest information has come we are normally follow the ugc instructions whatever they are there you have to make the people understand that these are the say, rules which has come from UGC so that you can make uh, things working and uh, these are the uh, norms you have to follow these kind of uh, things you have to follow or these kind of penalties will be there in the future if there are certain issues which you want to make public among the users that uh, Say for all kind of things, you have to be very careful about, uh, say, making plagiarism tools. See, for instance, I can tell, cite you my own example. When these days I talked about in my talk that some AI content is already been people are using. So I have been informing all the students that this particular percentage is been shown as an AI content in your thesis or in your work. And even then, I was informing to them their guides also simultaneously that these iai tools this much percentage is there i have already already been telling my students to get it fixed as soon as possible else in future you might face a problem i hope that uh, i addressed your concern 
yes sir yes sir thank you sir thank you so much yeah, thanks yeah. a lot any anybody else please yeah bondura madam can i have your identity or name of institute uh, sir i am librarian uh, from mit academy of engineering alandi pune okay okay thank you thank you sir sir okay. hello any yes please welcome can i ask one question sure, yes please sure. Okay, although I have put my questions in uh, chat box, I have some queries that <clears throat> sometimes it is seen that in article it is the authors uh, usually do practice that they have. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes they put uh, several previously published. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I, 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 Mr. Vinash, I have see, uh, checked your uh, question on plagiarism. I say on chat box. मैक्सिमे they will be checked as a plagiarism if you make it a word suppose you are making a particular say place name uh, in a document it may come suppose for you are taking for ganga pollution so if the ganga is coming every time there will not be plagiarism in whole document so that should not be the case you have to make a limit of that 1 to 5 words or 1 to 10 words if they are in sequence then only it will be taken as a plagiarism it should not be word to word but there should be there should not be more than say five or 10 words beyond say in sequence so this is what is the standard which we follow and hope that it works for everybody so my my question was slightly different that uh, the authors use their own published article for their list of references to enhance their citation okay okay so how much it is ethical and how much it is allowable see if it it is your own work that you are going to produce in your own you can check it and give it 100% <coughs> so why i tell you but you have to quote it properly cite it properly that it has been taken from your own work which has been published from such and such place and such and such page and such and such year so you can quote your own work in complete sure no no issue on that okay Okay, sir. Am I clear now? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes. Anybody else? Yes, please. Okay. Sir, I want to know: Is there any AI application for checking plagiarism? No, no. AI tools are not there. AI tools can help you to know about your subject. or to have some other words say other explanation about your own topic ai can help you to understand things like same way the google used to once you type a particular term to in a google you get some more information about google we are all librarians know that uh, how the google properly can be used in your certain term same is the case with ai also it is also kind of a tool which gives you some detailed information about your own topic but i would have already been say making say warning to everybody that you should not cut and paste ai things also otherwise at in certain point of time it will also be created as say taken as uh, plagiarism issues so be careful yes next is there any question can ask one more question you can request my mail id is also there if at all somebody else want to put any questions in further further also they can very well go ahead right so, anybody has to see something i have, so ask I, have i have one more question sir yeah please so my question is related to image and picture like is there any plagiarism how to check like image and picture if i put in my article or something yes you are right there at present the pictures are not been taken care of by turn it in all but then now they have started giving some kind of reports that if you are quoting some or cutting paste 
play some picture they will also be uh, say taken care by this plagiarism told if at all you are trying to put your some picture in your uh, say document or in your writing you can quote it that you have quoted from somewhere else or say quoted from such and such place so it will it will not be it will be ignored by the plagiarism tool it's as simple as that only thing is that you should not claim that this picture is done by you that's all okay i hope i'm clear am i clear i'm clear now to you anybody next yeah. anybody else I am open to all that my uh, mail ID is at librarian at icercol dot ac dot in. Uh, you can very well if you are not in a position to right now ask anything, frame any question. You can further also ask because these are the things which we should need to share. And you, if you have something more to tell me, I will also be happy to know that you know or you can update me. Because this is the kind of a learning process. We all learn at certain point of time. If somebody has done some more work, certainly I will be happy to learn more. Chat box question. Okay. So on online online members, is there any question? Otherwise, we are. Sir, please uh, write a resource person email ID on the uh, chat box, sir. Please. Okay. Sure. I, I will write. I will write. No sure. Yeah. at no, no, I have already written on uh, my, the chat box. Anybody can see to it. Okay. Yes, sir. It's visible, Thank sir. It's sir. visible. Yeah, yeah. Please, please. I have a question. for the same topic. Sir, one question in the chat box from uh, Dr. Mo Chakraborty. How okay. plagiarism? How plagiarism worked for the same topic essay? Same topic essay. See, uh, I'm not so clear about what you're yes. trying to ask. Uh, yeah, so, Dr. Mo, can you just clarify, sir, what you intend to know? Same hey, topic. Yes, Namaskar. please. Hmm. Uh, I want to uh, know that uh, the topic is same, like group theater. Okay, so three essays are there, uh, and uh, we use the same uh, relevant uh, documents there, like pictures, like interviews of the same person. And the person was uh, talking about the same things. Uh, 1948 is a, 1940 started group theater, and I joined this time, all that. Okay, so uh, this is the plagiarism. So this is the under the um, under plagiarism when I when we wrote this topic, like someone um, like me, uh, any other research, any other university, any other researcher uh, working with that. So is this a plagiarism? Because the Bengali theater, so many persons are uh, using uh, that kind of uh, essays. See, I once again, can I can I mm -hmm. say something? See, if at all you have some, some, some many mm -hmm. persons are working on a particular topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is perfectly clear. There's no issue on that. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody can work on any topic. But the plagiarism, when you talk about plagiarism, when mm -hmm. we talk about history of a particular topic or something, there should okay. be their own words. There should be their own words. If they are quoting from some X resource that somebody has spoken about this, they have to quote it properly. And if somebody is okay. saying what has been used by so many persons, it is okay, mm -hmm. no issue. Not. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, Nimaida. Sure, sure. Yeah, well, sir, sir, with your kind permission, one more thing that uh, Dr. Mo, as you rightly pointed out, that topic may be same, interview may be same, hmm. but my, hmm. per, my, yeah, my perception hmm. is that your objective will be different from others because on hmm. the same hmm. topic, you can conduct another research another paper write-up based mm -hmm. on different objective. So mm -hmm. whenever you are just going to quote same interview, same mm -hmm. literature, same mm -hmm. quotation, same paraphrasing, you can, mm -hmm. as I rightly said, but our connotation is that your objective will be different. Yeah. Otherwise, okay. if you are the member of the same project, same objective, 
then why do you going to uh, cite that particular uh, you know interview in your paper separately so it will be a cloud paper it will be a joint paper it will be a co-authored paper and you are member of the same project like scientific papers in a scientific mm -hmm. paper as we found that a scientific project officer residing at Bishwabharati they mm -hmm. are just sharing with their work in Aizar Kolkata, Aizar Pune, Aizar Mohali, like that. So it's a single mm -hmm. work. So they mm -hmm. can get same, uh, you know, lab techniques, same lab uh, reaction and other materials for the same work. But after publishing, when somebody else to cite that particular work with different mm -hmm. uh, objective, but same work, that's the nature of dynamic of publication and our knowledge society. Sir, am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah, Thank yes. you, thank you, Nimaida. Thank you. Explain uh, any, well. Any work, any work is done for that particular purpose only. That yeah. the researchers read that clinically and that can they can interpret right. further. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. It is perfectly welcome. Only mm -hmm. that we have to cite it properly. That it has this work has been done by so and so, and it mm -hmm. been such and such publications. And I am quoting that and I am trying to dwell upon it further. So this is what is. Avoiding plagiarism. What yes. yeah. Right. Okay. Any question? Any further questions? Uh, I think no. So the, we are just uh, fragment of the session, and uh, this is the time when uh, Kosik is there. Kosik. Yeah. Uh, my colleague, Dr. Kosik, was may I request you to offer formal word of thanks? to conclude the session and before you are uh, taking care let me just few uh, share few words on the topic that sat us covered by range all the possible areas confusion and doubts that's why perhaps there was no much scope to have a question on the topic or deliberation but as sir rightly said by his ever openness of nature that his mail id is open and he is also open always. So my dear colleagues and participants, maybe from Vishwabharati, maybe from other Institute of Vishwabharati, I request you to take this opportunity to share or to drop a mail to him for any of your research publication or academic publication, Adina, to clear any confusion because he is there at Calcutta, but from there he is ready to cater his uh, expertise throughout India and globe. So taking his expertise, I think we all will be able to set our academic journey to save the, or restore the prestige of the Institute, as well as our nationality or integrity of the academic or of the country. And from my side, I think it's a complete deliberation and there is no scope of having more confusion. And said from my side, please accept my deep regards and your deliberation was learning to me also. Thank you, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you, sir. And uh, with these few words, I'm just uh, taking your permission to disturb you further for taking your time to deliver lecture in physical as well as online mode to strengthen, to further our academic arena at Vishwarthi since we are, you know, we are the member of the rural India community. So yeah. with your uh, mindset with your expertise, sir, we need to go ahead in future. Thank you very much, sir. Anytime. Now, uh, yeah. Now, my, my colleague, Dr. Kosi Ghosh, is on the board to deliver formal word of thanks to wind up the session. Kosi Ghosh, please. Uh, sure, man. Thank you, Nimaida. So, very good afternoon to you all. So, I congratulate and uh, um, and welcome on behalf of the Vishwabharati Library Network to you, sir, uh, uh, respected. Uh, theory share uh, from uh, library and advisor. So, to you. Your so, sound as is you know, uh, we are throughout the month and throughout the year organized that kind of uh, first day, six days, uh, sessions in different topics, and tomorrow uh, we have another uh, session. So I congratulate on behalf of myself and on behalf of my uh, Bishop of the Library Network to you all and uh, SAT2 also. So, and please uh, join uh, tomorrow's session and tomorrow there is another special session on Jagged Plus and uh, tomorrow's our uh, speaker, uh, uh, Mahindranath Sharkar from the representative from the informatics 
and please join in blended mode those who are in available at surrounding santiniketan please come and enjoy the session at central library and you may join through the online mode too so thank you all and thank you uh, nimaita too also <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Please. And we intend to upload this speech on the YouTube channel. Sure, sure. Please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, it would be better that if you give me a link. Sure, sir. Sure. Okay. Tomorrow sure. I will give it to you. Thank okay. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. okay. All the best. Yeah. So let us now closing the meeting. Sure. Please. Please.